Gay! So a couple of days ago, I decided to uh, give myself a hotel, right? Just me. Um, just need some uh, little alone time. Actually, I got it because I wanted to uh, drop some acid, right? And, you know, where I live, it's kind of, um, it'd be hard for me to get away with, not get away with it, but it'd be hard for me to do it without being distracted, right? Uh, so the only way I can really do it is either to go like into the fucking woods or like to get a hotel. You know, it's, that's the only way I can guarantee that, you know, well, I thought that I'd be free of distractions. Well, so I did. Uh, I got a hotel and I don't know why, but I guess I'm just so used to getting cheap hotels. I just like got one that was cheap, not like dirt cheap. I thought it was called the uh, Roadway Inn, right? Again, that was my first mistake. I should have gotten something like nice. I don't know why I can afford it. Like should have got like a something like mid grade, like maybe, a, you know, I don't know, Hilton or Sheridan or something like that, right? And uh, nope. Nope, I bought this fucking one, the roadway, and it looked nice on the internet, but got there and it was just like, it's fucking, the place wasn't bad, but it was just fucking ghetto. Like, the people that were there, you know, it's just like, it's like the Priceline.com dealer, Expedia fucking special or whatever. Anyway, it's fucking ghetto, right? And, um, well, I figured, fuck it, I'm just going to stay in my apartment anyway, right? the hotel. So, get there, and I dropped, uh, dropped my tabs. Three. They're a Dr. Seuss 3.0. Uh, 100 UG each, although it felt like more than 100 each, but that's what I was told. So we're gonna stick with that. 100 each, 100 UG each. So it's 300 UGs, right? You know, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good after about an hour. You know, I'm like, wow, this is great. You know, it's real clean acid too, and it was like uh, probably my favorite that I've done in like probably I don't know, easily a decade. And um, yeah, and so I'm having a good time, and you know, I was starting to trip pretty pretty good, getting full into this peak, and uh, I'm like, fuck, I need to get out and have a smoke, right? I want to have a smoke, so. Um, it's like two o'clock in the morning, something like that. Walked out of the courtyard and uh, there's this, um, you know, smoking a cigarette. And I had a drink in my hand. I was drinking gin and juice. And um, those fucking protesters hear the horns. But anyway, um, yeah. So I, I, I go down there. And there's this Mexican chick standing there having a smoke too, right? She's just having a smoke. And uh, you know, I just kind of go out there. It's a little smoking courtyard, a little benches, right? Sit up there and, you know, I say hi, you know, she says hi, you know, we just start talking and, you know, she's talking about how she's going to uh, catch her flight in the morning, you know, going, going somewhere, right? <clears throat> I think it was, I think she said El Paso or somewhere like that. Don't know, I was, I was tripping balls at this point, right? I mean, I wasn't like, I was, I was pretty well into this trip, right? I was having a good time. It was great. It was really good. And, uh, well, you know, she, we start talking, you know, and she's like, oh, what are you drinking? You know, and she's like, yeah, I'm just going to have to stay up the whole night because I, my, I got an early flight out, blah, 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 blah. And then she's like, what are you drinking? I told her. She's like, do you mind if I get one? I, I don't, I ran out. I was like, sure. It's up in my, my, you know, hotel, my room. She's like, oh, okay, cool. Do you mind if I come up? I'm like, nope, come on up. You know, and, um, I don't know, maybe something should have triggered that, that that was kind of weird that a hot Mexican chick half my age is standing there alone and wants to come up to my hotel room to have a drink. But. I have been known from the past to be able to pull off some shit like that. So, although I was tripping balls, whatever, right? I mean, I, whatever. I, the, the, the God smiled on me, right? Uh, <laughs> I was tripping balls pretty good. But anyway, we get up there. And, uh, you know, we're just sitting there. I make her drink, you know, make myself another drink. And, you know, watching TV, talking about the riots, shit like that. Just small talking, right? I don't know, maybe, like, maybe 20 minutes into it, you know, I get up and I go to the bathroom. I come back out. And, uh... <clears throat> You know, we're just drinking and stuff, and um, all of a sudden, I'm starting to feel kind of weird about, like, 15 minutes after I came out of the bathroom. Right now. And uh, I couldn't tell if it was the acid. At first, I thought it was the acid. I was like, wait a minute, this isn't, because my depth perception got really fucking weird, but my my hearing got weird, too. I started to hear, like, these, like, echo effects, right? And, like, everything sounded really low. And then, all of a sudden, like, I started to sweat a lot. And then, I like, my vision was blurry, got, got blurry to the point where I had a hard time, like, seeing the numbers on my phone. Now, I've been on some heavy doses of acid where you can, like, you know, your vision get all fucked up. But this is just something different. It was it was different. I, I want to think it was the acid, but it was like, nah, I've done acid a million times. This isn't fucking acid. Or, you know, there's something something else is going on here, too. But I didn't know what it was, and I just kind of put my finger on I'm like, fuck. And I started to feel weird, and I was just like, started to sweat a lot. And I was just like, I had a hard time seeing. And, like, I, I was, like, wanting to fall out of my chair and shit. And I, I just told her, I was like, hey. I don't feel well. I think, you know, I think, you know, you might need to go. I might have to lay down here. And she's like, well, I just got here, you know, can I have another drink? You know, it's still early. I was like, look, you know, I'd love to, but I really got 
I gotta lay down. I'm not feeling well. And she kind of got an attitude a little bit. She's like, well, shit, you just invited me up here and I had thrown me out. And I was like, trying to be polite about it. But, and I'm tripping balls. Remember that? I'm tripping fucking on 300 UGs, right? At least. And I, I'm just thinking to myself, like, fuck, am, I, am I misreading this? Am I fucking, you know, you know how you go, especially when you're an acid. Anyway, I basically tell her, like, look, look, you know, politely, like, I really need you to go, please. And then she copped an attitude and was like, hey, you know, you can't just fucking bite me up here and then kick me out. You owe me some money. It's like, what the fuck owe you money? I just, you asked to come for a drink. I gave you a drink. She's like, no, you owe me some money. I've been up here for like 45 minutes. It's like, why do I owe you money? And I'm like, are you a fucking prostitute? She, she didn't answer that. She didn't want to respond. She's like, you owe me some money for like an hour. I was like, look, I don't owe you shit. I gave you a fucking free drink. Now get out of my hotel. She's like, fine, I'll be back. You know, so no, you're not. Fucking lock the door, right? About, you know, 15 minutes. Now I'm now I'm starting to actually feel worse. Like now I'm getting to the point where I'm like needing to sit down. Like I'm having a hard time standing. Like I'm, my balance is getting all fucked up. I'm thinking to myself, fuck. I think that chick fucking slipped me something in my drink. She did. I'm a, I'm positive. Like she slipped me a fucking roofie of some sort. I don't know what it was. I've never like been high on that that type of drug before. Um, plus I'm on the fucking 300 UGs of acid, right? But, you know, my mind's always just like, fuck, it's just the acid, but it's not. It's not just the acid. It's something else. So, fuck, you know, now I'm kind of, now I'm getting nervous, right? Because some sure shit, about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes later, knock on the door, right? Look out the blinds. I can see her, but there's a dude, too. And she's like, open the door. I want to talk to you. I was like, no, I told you, you know. And then the dude's like, yo, man, you owe me some money. I was like, oh, wait, I owe you money now, too? He's like, well, you owe her money. It's my money. You owe, you owe me money now. I was like, guys, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And I said, hey, I thought it was his girlfriend. I was like, hey, sorry, if that's your girlfriend. I just asked, she asked for a coma for a drink. Nothing happened, bro. I'm not feeling good, so I asked her to leave. And anyway, he's talking shit. Like, no, you're going you're gonna, to, you know, give me some money, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, if you don't have any money, she said you had a computer in there or something. Like that. I was like, guys, I'm like, you guys to fucking leave right now. Or I'm going to call the cops, right? Now, calling the cops is the last thing I want to do, right? Being fucking on 300 UG, right? Tripping balls and presumably roofied, right? Because I'm, I'm like sweating profusely now. I, I, just, I looked in the mirror. I looked like I was fucking trashed, right? And But that's the only thing I could do. And when I said, I'm going to call the cops, you don't leave. Dude was like, oh, yeah, really? 30 hits of LSD guys going to call the cops, right? There's a Mexican dude. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, and I'm thinking to myself, how the fuck did... Did I say something to that chick? And I was like, no, no. And I know I didn't say anything to that chick because I didn't want her to know I was on acid. So the last thing I'm going to do is say anything about 30 hits of LSD. But it, it happens sometimes. People fucking recognize me. Now, I don't know if that's that's what happened. I don't I don't understand how else they would have. But anyway, I'm just like, guys, look, look. What do you want? I'm not giving you any money. You guys just need to leave. And then he's like, okay, okay, yeah. Well, look. And I looked up the curtain a little bit because he's kind of like walking backwards like he wants me to look. And he pulls up his shirt and I can see like the fucking hand grip of a gun it's like okay okay i see i'll be back he's like you owe me some money I told you this once it's like fucking and they left now i'm really fucking scared right because now this guy's got a gun he's like a fucking pimp and i owe him money i'm fucking tripping balls on acid and now, now i'm fucking roofied i can barely stand up now right and it's weird because i'm not that tired but i'm just like disoriented like i didn't know so yeah so now i'm pretty much fucking freaking out right like <clears throat> If anything's gonna put you in a bad trip, right? It's fucking being roofied on fucking three hits or three tabs of acid, right? And fucking a pimp with a gun saying he owes you money or you owe him money, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm in a rock and a hard place because I, one, I don't want the cops to come there because they're gonna look at me, right? And be like, uh, you're fucking fucked up, man, you know? And and if you guys know anything about hotels, you don't have any rights in hotels. It's not like your house, right? Like, cops can pretty much just come in there, right? Um, so, you know, nobody wanted the cops in there, but I definitely did. I, I, it was a toss up between the pimp with the gun and the fucking cops. I don't know. So I also had a bunch of fucking drugs on me, right? Um, not like kilos of cocaine or anything, but I had several different types of drugs with me and enough that, you know, probably go to jail. In fact, I know I would go to jail. I mean, maybe not for a long time, but yeah, definitely, definitely jail time though. And I was like, fuck, what do I do? Now I'm getting fucking paranoid. Now I'm fucking, now I'm starting to freak out, right? I'm starting to freak out. So I don't know how to get the fuck out of the hotel. I'm way too fucked up to drive. No fucking way I can drive out of there. Right? And um, what am I going to do? I, and I'm thinking, fuck. And I was about to flush the drugs. I'm like, fuck. You know what I mean? 
I don't know. I, nobody wants to flush fucking drugs down the toilet, right? Especially several hundreds of dollars of the drugs. But better than going to jail. So I almost did it, but I'm thinking to myself, because you can't really hide it anywhere, right? In the hotel. And then I'm thinking about where am I going to hide it? Where am I going to hide it? And I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. And I was like, damn. So I started frantically like calling people, like calling my homies, right? But it's now it's like fucking four o'clock in the morning or something, right? And I'm frantically calling my homies, but I can barely fucking use my phone. I can barely see the fucking buttons, right? And I'm like, eh, eh, eh. And I'm just like, I, I couldn't work my fucking phone because I couldn't fucking see it very well. And, I, and I'm fucking high as fuck on acid and this roofie. And fucking uh, managed to leave a couple messages to people that were asleep. Uh, you know, I, I wanted desperately for somebody to come over um, and get me the fuck out of there. Um, I, I couldn't figure out how to fucking call a cab. I couldn't figure out how to fucking call Uber. I managed to call like two Ubers, but I didn't. I missed the drops or I gave them the wrong address or something because I was so fucked up. Finally, I got an Uber. I got an Uber and he fucking shows up, right? I'm, I'm like, I'm pacing and shit inside, waiting for him because I'm just going to fucking bolt down there. Fucking bam, you know, I got my suitcase, you know, but now it's like, I'm fucking sweat is just pouring out of me, right? I'm fucked up. My pupils are like this fucking big and... You know, and I remember like I sit on the fucking Uber thing, like, you know, fucking Corona, you gotta wear a mask and shit. So I'm like, I got like half a fucking shirt over my face, you know, fucking pouring sweat, fucking eyes bugging out of my head. Fucking, I can barely talk now, I'm, like slur my words and shit. And like, I'm not making much sense. I'm trying to like, you know, try to keep it together, but I can barely see, I can barely walk. And fucking, he gets there. I thought he got there. That's what it said, right? Your, your Uber's here, blah, blah, blah. Run down there, right? He ain't fucking there. It says he is, but he's not on the phone, right? And I'm just like, fuck, and, you know, and I'm so fucking confused being that fucked up. <sighs> so he was just across the street, right? But across the street, when you're fucked up on that much acid and fucking roofied, across the street might as well be in fucking Texas, right? I'm like, fuck. And then I'm looking around, right? And I couldn't, I saw some people, but I wasn't sure if I saw some people, right? Because now I'm like, Really second guessing myself, like, uh, uh, he's fucking pimping this fucking chick, or is that a fucking shadow monster? What the fuck is that? Like, I don't fucking know, right? I don't fucking know. So I'm like booking it, right? And I found the Uber, and he pulls up, you know, right? and of course, right? Of course, it's a guy from like Pakistan, right? Barely speaks English. I put the shit in the back, but I'm like fucking like, you guys remember um, like Johnny Depp and Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, like when he was all the fucking ether. <laughs> that's kind of what I was doing, man, because I had my fucking Corona fucking shirt, right? Because I couldn't find my mask. I'm like, <laughs> sweating and shit. I'm all fucked up looking and shit. He's just going to be like, okay. And I'm like, just go. And, I'm, and he's like, where are we going? I was, like, I was pointing at his phone because I could see his fucking phone on the dash. I'm like, right there. GPS, you know, and he's the guy insisted on like me being his fucking gps i barely knew where the fuck i was and this motherfucker can't follow the gps i can see the fucking gps it's to my my where i need to go and fuck man that was a nightmare because we, luckily we got out of there luckily i got out of there so i get back home to my house fuck you know and of course i had brought all my drugs so hide all my drugs right and i'm just fucking fuck fuck so that was basically it except that I need to go back to the hotel. So I called the fucking hotel and I was like, I need, I need a room for another night. Cause I don't want the hotel to get up there and like throw all my shit out. Right. Or tow my car or whatever. So I just got another night, you know, and I was like, fuck. So I, I didn't even sleep. I couldn't even sleep. And that was probably the acid. But anyway, fuck. Yeah. I, I you know, luckily I got a couple of my homies, you know, and I went back over there with my homies and, uh, got my shit. I didn't see those. I didn't see the fucking pamper the chick, but that was basically it, man, but that was some scary shit. I haven't been, I guess that you consider that a bad trip. I mean, yeah, I mean, it wasn't a bad trip like I was sitting in the closet fucking talking to myself, bad trip, which I've never done. But, you know, it wasn't that that bad trip, but it was a bad trip like, as in, could anything more fucking stressful be going on? Oh, and because of the riots, right? There were, there were helicopters fucking all fucking circling, right? And they've been circling for hours, even before I took the acid. They just like, they just, that's what they're doing out here, right? Is they're circling. So I got nonstop fucking helicopter, brrr, right? Fucking oh, TV's on. It's nothing but fucking riot shit or, you know, whatever. Pimp with the gun. 
um, brain full of acid and roofied, weird Mexican pimp, hot chick, fucking prostitute chick. Oh man, it, and I got all these fucking drugs on me, but I did make it out. I did make it out alive. I did make it. I did make it. So lesson to be learned here. Uh, if you're going to fucking party, don't party at a ghetto hotel. That's what they're trying to do. That was their thing, right? And I talked to a few friends about it. I looked up, I read some stuff on it. It's it's kind of a somewhat common scam as you think about it, right? Some fucking Mexican chick, hot chick, right? Who's kind of a sort of prostitute, you know, gets you up, sees a guy like me that looks like he's partying, right? Looks like he's cool. Gets up there, slips him a fucking roofie, right? He passes out. And then she clears out his fucking, she takes his computer, takes his wallet, takes everything she can, his jewelry, whatever, right? And boom, he wakes up and he's just been robbed. And they're gone, right? Easy peasy, right? Easy peasy. Except they didn't realize who they roofied. I wasn't going to fucking stay down. And now if I wouldn't have been on that much LSD, maybe I would have, maybe, maybe it would have had a different effect. I would have passed out. But I don't think they realized that who they roofied. They probably should have given me twice as much. <laughs> But uh, it was fucked up. I still feel weird. This happened two days ago. I still can feel the roofie. It's not that LSD hangover. No, no. That 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 really doesn't happen with this clean LSD that I take, the Dr. Seuss 3.0. But this, fuck, man. I'm still, I still don't know what it is. I'm thinking maybe it was ketamine or, I don't know, because I've never tried ketamine. So, I don't know what the fuck it was, man. But, uh, yeah, that's the moral of the story. Get, spend the extra 50 bucks and get a fucking nice hotel <laughs> where there's not going to be pimps and trying to rob you. Mm -hmm.